Hello, Victor. Uh, my name is uh, Muhammad Bassam Saidawi, and in today's video, I'm going to make the auscultation for my patient heart. So, at the first, I'm going to identify my patient. Hello, sir. Hello. Uh, I hope you are doing well today. Can you tell me, please, your uh, triple name? Jamal Muhammad Saidawi. And your date of birth? 5 November. And the year? Uh, 2004. Okay, so today I'm gonna to make uh, the auscultation for your heart. Okay. Uh, so uh, after telling my patient what I have, I'm going to do today, so I make sure that uh, there is no one in the room and the, clo uh, and the door of the room is uh, closed for the privacy of my patient. So at the first, I'm gonna ask you to take off your t-shirt uh, to start the auscultation. So at the first, I'm gonna to locate the scapula bone in the chest of my patient. Then I'm gonna to locate the the uh, the notch of the scapula bone. Uh, then down uh, move down to the five centimeter until I reach the sternum angle. When I reach uh, the sternum angle, I move to the to the right of uh, my uh, midcalvicular line. At the right of uh, midcalvicular line. I'm gonna to locate the uh, second intercostal space. So in the second intercostal space, I'm listening to the aortic uh, area, which presents the S2. Then I'm gonna to move to the uh, to the left uh, midcalvicular area uh, line uh, to locate the second intercostal space and listen to the uh, pulmonic area. In the pulmonic area, I'm gonna uh, to listen and it's present the S2 also. Then I'm gonna to move to the third intercostal space, which represents the herbs point. After listening to the herbs point, I'm gonna move to the fourth intercostal space, which represent the uh, tricuspid area. Uh, and uh, in the tricuspid area, I'm gonna listen. It's present the S1. Then I'm gonna move to the uh, last one, which is the uh, f uh, in the fifth intercostal space, uh, and we're gonna make sure at the locating uh, located in uh, located it uh, at the line of the gizfoid uh, uh, process and the line of gizfoid process gizfoid process. It's the fifth intercostal space. Then we locate the. Uh, mitral uh, area uh, and it have the maximum impulse which i can uh, hear for one minute and take his break so uh, now we're gonna to make the auscultation for uh, my patient lung lung auscultation so at the first i'm gonna to start from the right upper lung upper right lung so i'm gonna ask you please to take a deep inhale Exhale, then I move uh, to the left side, to the upper left lung, uh, deep inhale, exhale, deep inhale, exhale, deep inhale, deep inhale, exhale, deep inhale, exhale. Deep inhale, exhale, deep inhale, exhale, deep inhale, exhale, deep inhale, exhale, deep inhale, exhale. So by this I'm done with the front side of the lung, auscultation the front side of the lung and now I'm gonna move to the posterior uh, side so and, uh, and now we're gonna to make the auscultation for the lung from the posterior view at the first we locate the scapula and we uh, determine the butterfly shape in, the, in my patient uh, posterior lung uh, at the first I'm gonna start with the uh, upper uh, left lung so I'm going to ask you please to take a deep inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, 
exhale inhale 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 exhale so by that I'm done with the posterior and the, the thought of the lung for my patient. Thank you.